Every five seconds, someone lives. And every eight seconds, someone dies. And every second in between, we're here. Or here. Time. They say that time is lost in memory. We cannot touch, see, or control time. We are essentially prisoners in this fourth dimension. And one day, all of this will be gone. Yet, for some reason, we don't seem to care too much. and would rather fight each other. The truth is, we are not really here for that long. And for the majority of us, we'll only get one chance at all of this. Why? Question that has plagued the human mind since the birth of the world. What is all this about? Who am I? And how did we all get here? I find it interesting that everything seems so strange to us. If we look at a word too long, if we really think too much, it all really doesn't make sense. How strange is everything? We float on a giant water-covered ball in the middle of nothing. Why is this so strange? Why does it seem so weird? What are we comparing this to? I want honest answers here, people, right now. The question is, of course, the ultimate one. Why are we here? I know what I think. I want to hear what you all think. Jennifer? The Bible has all the answers for me, Mr. Wirtz. Thank you. If 
finally some truth in this room. I want to hear something new for once, something totally different. Raise your hands, people. Dennis? Uh, mathematically speaking, we're most likely a microscopic molecule in an atom that, that makes up something a lot larger than we can comprehend. If we take time into the equation, we, we could be making up the dirt on the bottom of, of a universal-sized elephant that, that is taking one step in our galaxy's lifetime. It's very interesting, Dennis. And is this your truth? It just seems to make sense to me. You know, we used to think that inside an atom was a couple of nuclei. Now we've discovered an entire cosmos. The, the solar system itself re resembles the interior rotation of an atom anyway. Science has to play a part in all of this. Take your pants off and prove it. <laughs> Chris, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Anyone else? What do you think? Aiden. What do you think? I believe in the unknown. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know the answer to that question. So you believe in nothing? Well, belief and reality are two very different things. Well, what about when you die? When I die? All of us. Well, let me ask you, Jennifer. What happens when you die? Heaven. Or hell. <laughs> Dennis. That universal-sized elephant just keeps on walking. Okay, okay. Now, please, Aiden. We've all been dead a lot longer than we've been alive. Okay, now down to business. Ladies and gentlemen, please take out your papers. Officially, exclusively, mathematically, this is your final philosophy exam for the term, the semester, the year. Unfortunately, the remainder of your possible careers funnels to this point. So if you feel you're not ready, bad luck. You have four and a half hours starting now. Good luck, see you in the future. You need to listen to me very carefully. Don't go to the Heathscape Motel. What is that supposed to mean? Don't go to the Heathscape Motel. Stay away. Wait. Wait a, wait a minute. So, uh, Sarah. It's open. Uh, I think what? she's pretty cute. Really? She's got it going on. How? I don't know. Hey, how was your exam? I don't know, she's just cute. Uh, just, you gonna talk to her for me or not? What's cute about her? Uh, she's chubby. Are you she's okay? Funny. I don't know, I've been riding around just trying to find something. Did you say that she's chubby and that's what oh, you like what? about her? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's wrong. She laughs at my jokes. It was weird. I went to get my bike after the exam and so someone came up to me and it was me. Like, you. My clothes, my face, my voice, everything was. Were you standing in front of a mirror? Was it like a cousin or a relative or something that you had to First I thought it was a joke, but then when I actually looked, it kind of freaked me out. Are you on drugs? Are you sure you want me to. He said, don't go to the Heathscape Motel. Are you telling me you're going to do it for me? Don't go to the Heathscape I just don't see why. What? Like, Why would you say that? Don't go to the Heathscot Motel. Mm. What's going on down there? Hmm? <sighs> Hello, Gran. I've seen you before. Yes, I know, Gran. Hello? Yeah, who else? Yes. Middle name. Uh, South. What's the man I gotta go? How was your exam? Yeah, it's fine. 
Just fine. Fingers crossed. What's the matter? Something happened this morning. Are you in trouble? No, nothing like that. Just something weird happened. I saw something I can't explain and... Does our family have any history of mental illness? Depression, paranoia, hallucinations? A golf ball drowned your grandfather, you know? Yes, I know, Gran. Wish I could see him again. Your great-grandmother had diabetes. There's a history of cancer and... <laughs> baldness too, in the men. <laughs> what does Lauren think? Oh, nothing. When are you two going to get married? I don't know, Grandma. Soon, maybe. Well, first... I want great-grandchildren, and I want to be at the wedding, but not in that order. Okay. So, nothing brain-related. I just want to make sure it's not all just in my head. Isn't everything just in your head? Will you read to me? Yeah, sure. What shall we read? Four swans. Where do we start? I'm at the beginning. It's a good place. The best. doing here? I'm sorry I didn't know you worked here. How's things? Things are good. How's your shift going? <laughs> it's fine. Good. Are you here for something? <laughs> this is gonna sound strange. Have I been here before? I don't know. Shouldn't you know that? <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but have you seen me here before? Like somebody that looks a lot like me. Um, I don't think so. I... Everything all right here? Yeah, it's fine. He said, don't go to the Heathscape Motel. Well, here I am. Yeah, that's an interesting story. And I don't know whether I should really believe a word of it. That makes two of us. Don't you mean two of you? So what are you doing now? Nothing, nothing much, just working. Just working? So you work? You go home and you do absolutely nothing. No, I do things. And? And I'm doing a painting course. Painting? Really? Finally? Yeah. And how's your grandma? She's okay. Um, we had to put her in a home pretty much just after we broke up.
It's been good to see you again, Lauren. It's good to see you too, Aiden. You still live around here? No, I've moved actually. Do you want a lift? ago. Well, I'm just going to say it. The attack! No signs of concussion or anything, and he's going to be sore for a couple of days, but other than that, he's going to be absolutely fine. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, man. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? Fine. You okay? You look pretty. What happened? You were in a car accident. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, and the the... The doctor called your grandmother and then they called me and and then I called Nick and, and we've been here for a while now. Where's Lauren? Uh, and, and he said that you may have hit your head. They think that maybe you've hit your head. So um, to ask you if, if, you, if your Lauren? head hurts. We can get you some water. We can get him some water. But just sit back. Just sit just back. Look, move, look, look, relax. relax. It's okay. Look, the doctor will be here any minute. Look, oh, no, don't, don't sit up. Just relax. Look, it's fine. The doctor will be I'm here fine. Just sit back. Where's Lauren? cannot leave the hospital, you are allowed to use the phone to call family and friends. A lawyer has been assigned and will be meeting with you tomorrow. So I'm being charged with something? Well, the family have stated they'd like to press charges. Given the circumstances of your past relationship with the deceased, they're having a hard time understanding what she was doing in the car with you. Well, wait a minute. I was just going to drive her home. You don't have to explain to us. Yet. Wait until your lawyer's present. Just the way things have to be done these days, unfortunately. Now, we have to be very clear on this. You cannot leave the hospital. Even though you're not in custody, if you do leave here, it can make things a lot worse. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Butter and Russian currency. The Atlantic Ocean and a melted rollerblade. It's a great game, really simple. You think of two things, any things. The only rule is they have to be as non-related as possible, just like you and me. A lava lamp and a dead horse kidney. The Atlantic Ocean and, and a melted rollerblade. Helps take your mind off things. Give it a go. No thanks. Well, maybe one day I'll find someone to actually play with. You're in some trouble, I see. I know something you don't know. Something weird happened to you, didn't it? Something really strange. Something you don't seem able to explain and most likely what? got you into this mess. What do you know about that? Well, I 
could tell you. But you're going to figure it out for yourself no matter what I say. But I can give you a hint. Go to the Heathscape Motel. I knew it. I knew something was going on. Room 41. There's a hole in the bathroom. In the ground. You have to go into the floor. What for? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Aiden, this is going to help you relax and sleep. And make sure you stay here tonight. Room 41, you said? And you're late. Yeah, look, the funeral's going to be one day next week. I'm, I'm not sure when, but um, I'll let you know when we've got some more detail. Uh, can you hang on for a moment? I've got someone out here. Uh, excuse me, can I help you? Come in. Come in. I, uh, I'll... I'll have to uh, call you back. I've got a uh, customer here, OK? Yes, sir. How can I help you? I just wanted to get a room. Ah, oh, fine. Yes, we've got... Uh, We've got room, we've got room 11, uh, just for yourself one night. It's fine. Yeah, you're going to pay for that card, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, we are. Okay, thanks very much. Good.
It was late this afternoon when a car swerved off Berthia Road and hit this power pole behind me. The passenger died on sight while the driver was taken to hospital with minimal injuries. It is not yet known what caused the car to lose control, but police are pushing forward for a full investigation.
Hayden. I read your paper. You really outdid yourself this time. I can't talk now, Mr. Woods. You know, it's minds like yours that, well, you really think outside the box. Me and a couple of colleagues of mine, we meet every Wednesday to talk about science-related issues and... Just fine though. Talk to her for a longer than 60 seconds and she still informs you that a, a golf ball drowned my grandfather. Grandfather, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> I never actually told her that we broke up. What? After all this time? Yeah, after all this time. That's a bit strange, isn't it? It would have killed her. She's still got that photo that you gave her for her 80th birthday of us. She loves you. She still loves you. I miss your grandma. She called me up the other week and she said that she wanted to go bowling. I was like, are you serious? But we went bowling and ambulance was on standby. She was in her slippers and gown. Bowled a few balls with the slide mechanism thing. She had fun. Yeah, that's cute. Mm. I love bowling. You remember that time that the we, we went, went bowling? bowling. <laughs> Can I get an ambulance, please? To room 41, Heatscape Motel. I know, look, it was really weird. He was talking about this room 41 with a, a motel room that has a black hole that, that leads to yesterday and something about, like, he was in a car accident with Lauren and she died. And, but he was the reason that she died? And he's got to now go back in time or something. Hey, champ. Hi. How was your nap? Mm. You guys don't believe me, right? Oh, come on, man. You're actually joking, right? Call my phone. Why, did you Before? lose it? No, I'm trying to prove a point. Mm -hmm. Call it. <sighs> oh. 
Hello? Who? Aiden. This is you, Aiden. That's the other Aiden. He hasn't been through this yet. If this is Aiden, what's my brother's middle name? Uh, South. What's the man I gotta go? Hello? Who to- He hung up. What, are you sure? You hung up. Come on, this is actually a joke, right? Listen, you guys were both there after the accident at the hospital. It's all gonna happen. Look, it's just weird, all right? This is just getting really weird, Aiden. Look, I, I know that you had problems getting over Lauren, and I understand that. Really, really, we do, and we care about you a lot. But Nick and I, we checked her Facebook page before, and she was online. She's not dead. Not yet. Not yet. Can you go forward in time? Like in the future? I don't know. What if Nick said that to you? You know, oh hey, I've found a motel room 41 with a black hole Crazy. that leads to I'd at least yes, check it out. Crazy. No, because you remember this time last year, I told both of you to come with me to the petrol station. And I'd been drinking, but I saw Elvis. Oh, He's alive. I saw him, and you wouldn't believe Shut me, up. and you wouldn't believe me. Shut Guys, you're not up. listening to me. Just come to the motel with me and I can prove it all to you. I'm sorry, okay? We're not going to come, okay? Oh, 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 here, look what we've done. When all this look happens... Look what we've done. Where are you when going? When all this happens, just act surprised. Where are you going, Sally? Aiden? Leaving. Look. He's probably going for a sniff. He's not going for a sniff.
Hey. Hello, what brings you here? Hey, Mr. Watts. Sorry to bother you. I got your listing from the university. You said you have a meeting here? Yes. Yeah, yes, of course. Please, come in. Thanks. Excuse me, look, I disagree. The fundamental law of mathematics exists only to comprehend the impossible. One plus one does not always equal two. Everyone, this is Aidan. Professor Jacobs has a fascination with the alternate perspectives of knowledge. <laughs> to think, to know, is to know, to know what I to think. think. <laughs> Aidan, this is my very old friend, Mr Wells. Aidan takes my philosophy class at Apollo. Top grades. So what brings you here, Aidan? I've got a few questions. Why questions? Not why, how. It's about time travel. Ah, oh, excellent. Interest or research? Both. Would you go forward or back? You can't go back. It's already happened. Ford's the most probable outcome. It's been proven that it's possible. I'm writing a book. A novel, actually. So some of the questions I ask might seem a little out there. Oh, we need more time travel books in this world. We don't need more books, Mr Wells. We need more scientists to make the ideas in those books a reality. Professor Jacobs. I'm sorry, Eden. Go on. Uh, it's about a guy who finds a hole in a room that leads to yesterday. He goes through it and then comes back out 12 hours earlier. Intriguing. Impossible. Let him finish. If you were to travel backwards in time, say, to yesterday, would you be able to change your future? That all depends on the rules that the time travel set in. Can the traveller see alternate versions of himself? Yes, definitely. Mm, well, so that's complicated. Because time doesn't exist in nature, of course. It's a measurement of movement in space. I tend to disagree with that. Nature is based in time. But we could go on and on all night arguing about what does and doesn't exist. I guess. So, what are the rules? How does it all work? Well, in fiction there are four elements of time. What about non-fiction? Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. If you could travel through time, there would have to be a hole in space-time, uh, a rip if you like. If you could survive the journey through the hole, well, you'd arrive at the same space, but a different time. Or a different space, different time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Eh, like a wormhole or a stargate. Mm. Go on, you're doing fine. So if you could travel back through, t um, I'll tell you what, a visual aid might be helpful here. What are you doing? So this is your life from birth to death. And this is you today. So, if you were to go back in time to... Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Now, if time is circular, you would bring space back to yourself and travel through it. You could, in theory, visit past versions of yourself. Uh, really, two. Parallel <laughs> universe theory. One that is all in slices. An infinite amount, really. It wouldn't actually be time, but another dimension of reality. Because time doesn't exist in nature. La -dee da da So what does this man do when he goes through the hole? Ah, uh, well, he's trying to save somebody. A girl. Classic. Predictable. So he's already in a parallel universe. Because past versions of himself has already visited him before he even travelled. You seem confused by your own writing. That's very confusing. <laughs> There's no pattern to it. He tried to stop the accident as many times as he could, but nothing ever worked. Well, if he can't change his own future, surely he can change the future of a different version of himself. Exactly. He cannot change his own line of existence and yet influence another line. But that sucks. Well, so he needs to change a different version of himself to get the desired result. The story needs more emotion. How does he know this girl? Uh, it's his ex-girlfriend. Weak, overused plot element. He needs to save a part of himself. But wouldn't the girl be a part of himself? A part of his history? Only if you set up the relationship at the beginning. Set up to destroy. It lacks surprise, but it works. What you really need is a twist. I don't like twists. But that's what kids are into these days. Special effects and twists. None. He just goes through the hole, comes back out the same hole. 
Sounds like the last 25 years of my marriage. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me speak to your friends tonight, Mr. Wentz. Uh, you're more than welcome, mate. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm all good. So where would you go, if you could? I don't know. What about you? Forward first, and then back to fix it. When I was 12 years old, I had this idea. Most of my friends had dreams of flying. Mine were of traveling through time, as a matter of fact. I'd sit down at my grandfather's typewriter and write to the universe. The idea was to become famous. You know, put the call out that I wanted to travel through time. Go on TV, newspapers, concerts, t-shirts, books. You know, really put the word out there that I wanted to travel through time. I realised that time travel in my lifetime would be impossible. So I hoped that someone in the future would remember the time travel kit when time travel was actually possible. And that they'd go back and Come and get me. Maybe one day. So, your character can't go forward? Only back. Make sure he goes back for the right reasons. Make sure he influences the most important situations. He will. Aiden, 27, graduated two years ago. Extremely high marks in philosophy and psychology. You were a state champion scout member. Mum left you as a baby, then Granny took the reins. Broke up with Lauren a few years ago. Decided to take her on a joyride. Crashed the car, killed her, then ran away, and now you find yourself here. Dum dum dum. Can I ask you why you left the hospital? I don't know. Do you remember us telling you that you shouldn't? Yeah. You're in a deep load of trouble, Aiden. We know what you did and why you did it. Were you supposed to die in that crash? Is that why you're upset? Your plan didn't work out properly? I had nothing to do with it. Accident. Ah. The voice triggers a memory. Things don't add up, Aiden. You seem genuinely concerned the last time we spoke to you, then you decided just to run off. Not to get away, but to go back to where you picked her up from. So, the question is, what happens next? What happens, Aiden? <coughs> you confess to us, right now. You're heard in a court. The judge will be lenient, say nothing, confess silence. Your penalty will be something to regret. So what's it gonna be? You want to know the truth? Please. I found a time portal. A hole that leads back to yesterday. <laughs> wow. Is this classified as insanity? I tried to go back and stop the accident. I couldn't save her. They never can. 
So you killed her and then went back in time to stop yourself from killing her? I'm telling you the truth. Right. So you can really travel back in time. So why waste that privilege on trying to save Lauren? You still love her. I went back to stop the accident from happening, to save her. I couldn't, so I have to go back and try again. Why not go back in time and break yourself out of custody? I'm not the only one of me out there. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> come on, come dance with me. Come and dance. <laughs> come and dance with me. Now. You'll be waiting here, Marty McFly. There you go, man. Got any heroin? Got any of the good gear? Come and dance with me. You gotta dance with me. We're in this together, dancing. You're dancing, come dance with me. Try this step, this works well. This works well. Try this step. Try it. Try these, try dancing hey, with hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Look. laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, good step. Oh, oh, oh. gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh. Keep dancing with me. We're out of here together. Yeah, no, we're gone. We're out of here, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Don't leave me. Don't go. Don't, go. Don't, leave me. Oh. don't go. Don't leave me. Come back. Come back. Me and you. Oh.
Hey. It's me, hey. Sorry, can I help you? You don't remember me, do you? I'm sorry? Can I ask you a question? I think you just did. What do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. Was there ever a chance in your life that something could have gone another way? I don't know what you mean. Like your life could have changed, like you weren't going to be a lawyer. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I almost went off to war. And then what happened? I, I, I registered and <clears throat> I was preparing to leave. And then the strangest thing happened. I'm sorry, I don't know you. That's right, you've said enough. You changed your line, it's, it's possible. Okay. Tomato sauce and the musical note G. Blue guitar and a frozen gorilla lung. I've seen you before. Grandma. I wish I could see your grandfather again. Can I take you somewhere? Where should we begin? The end. First time, or the second time? Yesterday or, or tomorrow? Who knows? Who cares? You might want to put that knife down. Oh no, you can't stop me from cutting myself. Don't you get it yet? If I don't cut myself, I don't get taken to hospital. I don't meet you for the first time and tell you to come here. I can't change it. You can only influence it to change it, not intervene. You can't physically stop me from cutting myself. So how do you know that you're going to tell me to come here? If I'm already standing here in front of you and you haven't been to the hospital yet. <laughs> exactly! 
Hey! <laughs> so how do I influence time? Open the door, please. This is the management. I saw you. A better version of you, a different version of you. You saw that, did you? Thought I'd try it out. The worst. You changed your own life. Well, not mine exactly, but close enough, right? What the hell? You'll think that's how we got out. <laughs> You're a smart one. How did you do it? How did you influence the ultimate version of yourself? The trick is to stop the person being in the situation in the first place, if you can figure that out. Right, please. Open up. Remember, time travels with you.
Hello? Hello? I'm looking for Blytheville. Oh, well, you're a fair way from there. Uh, really? Say, you look familiar. Do we know each other? Not yet. I... Dwight. This is Aiden, dear. Oh. Aiden, this is my wife. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you, Aiden. Stop that, would you? I'm going to give Aiden a lift into town. Would you like anything? Yeah, actually, if you could return the library books for me, that would be great. Say, you look awfully familiar to me. I get that a lot. I said the same thing. must just be all in my head. Isn't everything all just in your head? Well, we should be off. Uh, okay. Bye. Lovely to meet you, Aiden. You too. Goodbye. A golf ball drowned your grandfather, you know. Wish I could see him again. I've got something. What is it? You have to open it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Don't open it until then. It's very important. So, your character can't go forward? Only back. Make sure he goes back for the right reasons. Make sure he influences the most important situations. He will.
have to go to the Heathscape Motel. Can I walk you home? The truth is, we are not really here for that long. And for the majority of us, we'll only get one chance at all of this. Thank you.